Okay, dear friends, let's first have a cup of tea and then I will answer some question from uh, one of our YouTube friend. And uh, I think she is a journalist or doing some essay anyway. Uh, the important thing is that uh, she has asked some question and I I will answer these questions and uh, do a video about it because I am too lazy to write everything down. The first question I have noticed that you use a lot of mixed media in your artwork, all your paints, ink, silk painting, etc. Which is your absolute favorite to work with and why? I think uh, <clears throat> there is really this is a quite hard to, 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 to say which media I would like to use. It depends on what material I have and if by myself whatever is handy. And um, there are something I use more comfortable or something that I'm originally from. For example, brush painting is the first thing I start to use, Chinese painting ink. It is something that I started and I started to find I can do something with, I can do something that other people are not yet so familiar with. That's my starting point. So whenever I have this ink or ink stick and brush, I will use it. But uh, <clears throat> imagine uh, the ink is very difficult to wash, uh, to clean, it's all black. And um, and it is it takes time and takes space to set up things, especially when I now have so have different subjects to teach and different things, so <clears throat> it is not always come so handy. So I'm using it less, and uh, since I teach art class, there is a need to try different media, try different. Uh, different method so I start to use oil pastel to use acrylic to use watercolor to use uh, 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 pencil pen all the different other things and um, <clears throat> so it's hard to, to see what is one of my my favorite but um, uh, my I have uh, this this kind, if you call it favorite, that is pencil, because it's the most simple. There is uh, there should be nothing more simple than uh, a pencil, and uh, it's kind of my philosophy or kind of my thoughts. Everything at its purest, simplest. And, uh, and the most original form is the most magnificent and is the most difficult and is the highest level of art. And uh, pencil, pen, this kind of very simple media, they are simple, but there is nothing, nothing at all you can cheat. With all your painting, with other things, you can do layer by layer. You can do, you can, you can, um, you can play around. But pencil, pen, and ink, uh, a pen. Once you do it, you are done with it. You cannot correct Chinese painting. You you paint it one stroke done. There is a life of it. You cannot change its life. You cannot cover up its life. The stroke itself, that line, that shape, has its own life already. The, their own life is already born. You cannot alter it. The only thing you can do is that you go around with it and... Uh, and uh, do other effort to compromise, to encourage, to bring out the beauty of that particular thing.
that particular baby, that particular baby stroke. It might be a good stroke, it might be a not so good stroke, but once you are done, this little baby has its own life. We have children, we know. No one is perfect. Each individual children, each individual child, he, she has his, her own life and is to be appreciated. And you do not get a perfect person. You make the best of that particular character. The character, once the character is born, do not damage it. Do not try to alter it. Do not do anything to make it different. Make it the most of it. Make it make the best of it. That's the best way to develop one character. And so this is what I think. Something that is pure, simple, is the highest form of art. Calligraphy is such a wonderful art because it's, it's just one thing, one pen or one brush. And pencil, you can make such a wonderful, magnificent a drawing out of pencil and it becomes so rich, so deep, so profound just through a pencil. So I have, I don't know whether I can call it absolute favorite media, at least this is one of my most appreciate thing. Uh, one of my most, this is the most appreciate spirit that no pretending Nothing pretentious, pure, pure, pure skill and spirit. So I think this uh, can sum up my first answer to the first question. And the second one is, how do you become an artist? Were you born with the skills and found them uh, occurring naturally in your life or was art a deliberate choice for you when it came to your to your career um, first I do not call myself artist uh, and also I do not know the the definition of artist uh, generally speaking everyone is an artist and in uh, in a, in a specific form, no one is an artist, or no one can claim himself an artist. So it's a it's, it's a hard question. So how do you become an artist? I gosh, this word is so big. How be, how do I become a person who I am now? and become start to painting, I can answer this question. It's more accurate. So I, I, I was not good at drawing and painting. I remember when I was young, all my family, they do better job than me. And, uh, and I got uh, the most favor from my mother. Uh, if you are a mother, you know. Um, if you are a parent, you know, usually you do not favor the strong boy or the strong girl, the strong kid in the family, because they can survive by themselves. Usually is the worst kid in the family got the favor. And uh, the, the not so bright and the slow and, uh, and, uh, and uh, not smart, but kind. Those kind of people get the favor, and I was particularly that kind. I was not smart. I did not write well. I did not draw well. My brother did better in math, in drawing. My sister, everyone did much better than me. And uh, so I was the underdog in my family. So my whole life uh, within my family and I was kind of, I never made a, a, a voice. So this is why I am struggling still now, because I do not have a leadership. 
And uh, my job really particularly uh, required that kind of leadership, at least let people listen to you. And this is my strength, strongest weakness, not strongest, <laughs> this is my biggest weakness that I cannot lead something, I cannot make other people listen to me because I'm weak. So I got my my mother's favor for, for that, for becoming, for being not the strongest. But I am kind. I, I have a quite, a, a quite a easy, bendable character. Whenever I made a mistake, I compromise and I, I confess and I say, yes, I made that mistake. When my parents got angry with me, I will, I will be the traitor <laughs> in my sister's world. You are a traitor, traitor. Pantu, 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 putigao, ni putigao. <laughs> and my sister was very strong. She never compromised and she never, um, she never gave up. So it's kind of my, because I'm, I, I was soft and I give up and I, I, I compromise. So. I do not, usually do not get my parents into such a, a severe anger, not to get them too much angry. So I was not good at drawing and I always admire and envy my sister, my brother's drawing. I remember one time I was drawing a box. Let me see. Yes, okay. Here is a piece of paper. I was drawing, I think, a lunch box. In China, there were those kind of lunch box, and there was a handle on top of it. This is a box. And then I just cannot do it. And then my, my brother came and helped me did this one, did this one. So, and this was my memory of my, my, my brother teach me something about perspective or something about 3D drawing. I had this one, I should erase out. Three D drawing. Can you see it? Can you see this is a three D drawing? This is a handle on top of it. I didn't put it into the right place. Anyway, so I learned so much everything from my family, and uh, I was not born with uh, an artistic skill. And uh, but one thing. Uh, I learned later is from my from my mother. My mother, her whole life, she would like to do uh, to do painting and drawing, and she was good at it. And uh, at her retirement, uh, one day I uh, I went with her to a park, Zhongshan Gongyuan in Beijing. There was a big park, and there was a flower exhibition. And uh, I went with my mother, and she brought with her uh, a board to do drawing. She was very shy, and she did not dare to do that. And I encouraged her, and I was uh, standing beside her. And uh, then she started her first drawing. And uh, later on, she became quite, uh, I think she became one of uh, the famous, um, v very well-achieved, retired senior artist, uh, starting at a senior age, starting at a retirement. And uh, it was a very small thing for me, but my mother always said that, you get me started. And uh, at that time, I did not have time. I just graduated from uh, from school and uh, starting to work. Busy, very busy, a business woman, uh, selling, traveling, uh, importing, exporting. The only thing I could do was to 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 buy some brushes, to buy some art material for my mother, so that my my mother could um, draw and paint 
do Chinese painting. And uh, she was painting no day, no night, every day painting, no cooking, nothing, just uh, just painting. And painting beca became her hobby. And, uh, and uh, my mother passed away. And uh, I saw her do the painting. It's kind of her spirit. And there was only one thing, uh, the, the material left. So I, I do not want to throw away those material. And uh, I was very sick because my mother passed away. We were very, very close. And because we, I was, I was so depending on my my mother, and uh, what do you call it? It's a, it's a spoiled or, or or favored, because I was not so good. So now I I kind of uh, my my spiritual um, spiritual uh, cornerstone, my spiritual support has left me. And I felt so empty. I was very, very sick. I think in my whole life, that was the only time that uh, I was seriously sick. I feel I was dying at that time. And uh, then I started to, to pick up the brush, her leftover, and started to paint, to do some bamboo, to do paint, and to write calligraphy. And there are other stories. I will not talk about those stories. Anyway, painting connected me with my mother. And through painting, I found her spirit. And from time to time, I could hear that uh, my mother calling my name. And uh, when you, you have your most loved person left to you, you may have that that dream that uh, the person came back to your life and talking to you, even in daytime, I still could hear that my mother called me and talked to me. And that's the moment that I was the most close. And through painting, I found this. I found this, uh, this calm and this connection. And I found my mother, actually, through painting. So I started painting. And uh, there are, and later on, uh, my mother passed away many, many years. And uh, mm, I still, the person who loved me the most had left me, had left me alone in the world. Okay, let me continue with this, let me continue. So, um, so I just started to, to, to paint, and uh, later on I, uh, give me a few minutes, I will stop this video and, uh, and have some tea and calm down myself, and then I will continue. Later, I will compose this video all together, make a an hour-long video or something. But uh, let me take a break. <laughs> 